Hello everybody, welcome to our new video here in YouTube. Today we are going to give you tips for a couple of figures. One of them will be sanguchito. The sandwich. Okay, before we start, please remember to subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. That really helps on the growing of this channel so we can keep uploading more and more videos for you. <laughs> so, we are going to show you the first case, this sandwich, sanguchito. Uh, we are going to give you a tip. We'll show you first the figure very, very quick. One, we are doing this. Sandwich. And from here we are exiting. So, tips here. What are we doing? Yeah. Followers first. Yeah, for the followers, we do a side step, feel the angle of the ocho. Second tip is to send the leg back, don't transfer weight until he does the lead. And now you will feel the sandwich, in this case on my left foot. Wait for him to move. When he's moving back, then I'm going forward. So don't go front or don't move from here by yourself because you may crash in the middle. So I'm waiting for him to move to the next place. And then at first I move forward without rotating. I don't know where we're going. So I have to go to my axis on my left leg. After that, we start rotating on the left. Oh, you can opening the upper body, open the right shoulder, and sending the hips to the side and keeping the sandwich positions. I have my heels together, I have my toes open in a V shape, and then from here I can bend the knee a little bit or just keep it straight, but be sure to have the legs very together, don't make space on this area. And then here I will wait for him to lift the position and exit. I like to cross first. Before stepping, I like to go to a cruzada and crossing my right leg in front until he lowered the position. Then I will extend the leg, waiting for him to go to the next figure. In this case, we just end on feet together and keeping the axis. For the leader, one tip, and very, very important to save her toes. Normally, most of the time, followers are <laughs> with the open shoes, yeah? So we have to be careful with that. This is very, very important. So we'll show you this. One, we are just proceed to the sandwich. Ocho, and here's the important thing. We are doing the sandwich. First of all, one thing is that, if you see my foot here, we are not too close with the heel to her toes. Normally we align the front part of our, of our foot. So it means we are doing the sandwich here, just for you to see it. Can you see that the front part of my, my, my foot are doing the sandwich, not the entire foot? Because that's you're really important, yeah. Yeah, that's one. And the sandwich basically is a little bit like in a V shape, yeah? Our foot is not straight, yeah? So we are creating like a little V shape, ankles together. Now, here's the second part and one of the most important. I'm here, I will position the leg. One thing is to present the leg going back and before transferring body weight, make sure you don't go with your head first, yes, with the entire body. Present the leg, in this case will be kind of short, and then we are going to bring her to her axis. So we are exchanging places. And then we proceed to rotate. How we rotate? From the torso. So when we are doing this, pay attention to my foot. Can you see that it's opening the position? Can we rewind for a second? Mm -hmm. So I was here, she's not doing it at the moment. Look, tuck, tuck. This is very important. If I leave my foot straight or like in a V shape like we were, she will get stuck with her heel while she pivots. Let us do it wrong for one second. Look at her heel. Even I want to do what I did before, but I can't. I want, I want to pivot, sorry, I want to pivot like exactly. I, I mentioned to do it, but I can't because he's not allowing it. Yes, and if, if you notice when she's back, as soon as she rotates, her heel will get stuck on my, on my foot. So that's why we are opening and rotating our foot so we accompany that pivot, yeah? And at the moment, I'm with body weight on both legs. 
this gives me more secure position. Yes, I'm going to be more in access. The other point here for the leader is that she will not cross by herself. She's waiting for us. So before we pull, we need to do two things. Bringing her up from your rib cage. That's the lead for her to go to the other side. Second one is to direct her leg. I do it by lowering and rotating so she steps a little closer to me. Tuck. Once we do that, lowering, we can re-embrace to close embrace and do the front ocho in this case. And then you can go to any other figure. The main point is, is that here are the tips for you to not to crash with the follower or with your partner. Let me go again to the sandwich position or prior to the sandwich. So we go now to the front leg for the followers. And this is important, leaders, like Leo was mentioning, don't rotate too soon. And for the followers, don't do that with your, with your torso. Yeah. So um, we are exchanging places like Leo was mentioning. Now, when we have the rotation to encounter and to finish the sandwich, it's also important to open the shoulders and for the leaders to pull. So the connection and the angle for this uh, frame it's very rounded and outside because it's very common to see front followers this. See? Collapsing. Boom. Bringing yeah. in your right arm, like pulling him. Exactly. And for the leader, the same. Sometimes yeah. they go. Sometimes they rotate her yeah. coming in with the arms. So, yeah, so this is really bad position. Visualize from here, same position, sure. please. We are going to visualize a circle, semicircle, to go around the leader. And this is the shape of the fist we have here. My, my right hand and his left hand is going to create that circle. So when we go from the parada, from the stop to the sandwich, this is the position. Let's rewind and let's keep doing this. So visualize this upper body, the frame. Then it's easier to go around and keep your axis. Right? That, that was the only sure. point I want to yeah. mention because it's very common to see people doing the sandwich and over the paradas and collapsing the frame, and that will push your faxes for exactly. both. Because if I'm, I'm going off axis, I will pull on him. It's yeah. very common to see that oh, followers are hanging or leaders are pushing the followers of axis yeah. because of that frame coming in. I always mention in, uh, in other videos we did, we have a series in Tango Embrace. I always mention that this arm, the left arm for the leader, it is the elegance of our dance, of our body. Yes, if we are crooked or we having weird position, it doesn't look very nice. So the more we can, regardless of the step, this has to be maintained. So in this case, for example, I'm doing the sandwich. I will not rotate her, this is wrong, coming in because we are breaking the shape of our arm, plus we are pushing her. We just rotate from the shoulder blade, took, and we maintain the embrace. If she's not here, for example, I, I will move ahead. Can you see the position? Yes, it's not here. So wherever we go, we maintain that position. So never break that frame for the leader. And for the follower, the same. Yeah. <laughs> is this, this is a good tip also. We were talking about the, the sandwich position, yeah. and the feet, but this is also a good tip, the elbows. Elbows are always sideways. Your energy of the elbows is never in, collapsing, closing, close to your body. Mm -hmm. It's out, it's outside. You have to feel like you are expanding, expanding. So all the leads and the way I will follow my frame is always expanding and pulling out from the elbows. Sometimes when we mention these kind of things that the embrace pulling out, it may feel, if you are not used to it, that, oh, this is for a stage or for performances. Actually, we use, the closer we get, mm -hmm. the more we get to pull. If we don't do that and I get very close to my partner and I don't expand, I will be pushing all the time my partner. So either she will be pu pushing me or I will be pushing her, yeah? yeah? So the closer we get in close embrace, very milonguero, tuck, this is the idea. <whistles> Pulling yeah. and expanding so we can both share the same axis. Okay, let's finish the video doing mm -hmm. one more time the figure. Sure. And we are going to explain why the embrace is also important. So we create the ocho, the parada, 
going to sandwich after that with transfer body weight at first and then he's pulling, pulling, pulling to create a sandwich. We are lower position, he will lift and then he pulling, he will send me to the front. Ocho, front step, we re-embrace and we ready to go for next figure. Okay, thanks so much one more time for watching our videos and being here in our channel. Before you go, make sure to subscribe on the button right there. That really help us and we'll keep uploading videos every single week. Thank you so much. See you on the next one. Bye, take care.